Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's me Jens from the Wondershed Demo Creator team and I'm going to be your host today. Have you ever participated in an online lecture or a webinar and you wished your whole team, squad, fellow students were with you? Do not worry, we have a fine solution here using Wondershed Demo Creator. Really doesn't matter if you want to record those online lectures or webinars for your own reference later or maybe you want to share the content with a math interested person for example or just other colleagues of yours later in the game. Really doesn't matter, the tutorial today is going to show you how you can do exactly this. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to click the little subscribe button down there to the red button saying subscribe and also to activate the notification bell. That way you are never ever going to miss out on any more videos here on this channel ever again, any updates from WonderShare's Demo Creator or just the good stuff in general, giveaways for example. So definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel. So what is the first step to recording a webinar or a YouTube online lecture? Well, obviously you got to get yourself a screen recorder in some way. And hey, Wondershare's Demo Creator is there for you because Wondershare's Demo Creator is the very minimalistic, easy to use video editor and also screen recorder all in one. And it's going to be a very handy tool for recording lectures on YouTube or any other site that really doesn't allow for any kind of downloads of the videos being posted there. So if you're also completely new to Wondershare's Demo Creator, make sure to take a look at the link at the top of the description. With it, you can download Wondershare's Demo Creator to try it for completely free. Try it out to your heart extent, see what it can do and what it can't do. And yeah, once you're done, keep watching the video. Next, we got to set up the recording interface in itself. What part of the screen do you want to record? Do you want to record audio? Do you want to record your own audio for example? We are going to set all of this up and for this we are going to take a look at the recording interface on Wondershare's Demo Creator, shall we? Once you start the program all you have to do is click on the big fat new recording button that you see here and after that a new interface is going to pop up which you can set up to your heart's extent. And the most important part of setting everything up is to actually see which part of the screen you want to record in the first place. Maybe you are going to go for full screen recording. For this you are just going to set the uh, recording area to full screen down here or if you just want to record a part of the screen like in my case right here you are simply going to drag on little corners here and set your recording space up however you wish. And once you're done with that we can set up a few other things like recording the computer audio for example. To set up the audio you got two options. Either you are going to go over here to the recording device and also set the system mic on on or on off. So if you want to record the audio from the webinar for example you definitely have to turn it on or if you want to see some more audio options click here on the settings button go to audio and then you can set everything up nicely with a nice list of everything that you can choose from. Once everything's set up all you really need to do is click on the red recording button right here it's going to count down from free and then you can start recording your webinar to its full extent. One pro tip that I would like to give you is that when the system creator is actually recording everything that is on screen right now in your range of recording. Meaning if you take a look at the red blinking bars that we have here, actually part of our recording interface is actually being recorded right now, which is kind of ugly. It's blocking our view on our webinar. To get rid of that, you just click onto the minimize button that you got here and you're going to get rid of it. But now you need to be careful. You need to work with your keyboard shortcuts now that are built into Wondershare's Demo Creator. If you press F1, you are going to stop and resume the recording. And to stop the recording, what you're going to do is you're going to press F10 if you are on Windows. If you are on Mac though, if you want to stop the recording, what you're going to press is Shift, Command and 2. And if you want to start or resume the recording in some way, what you're going to click on your keyboard is Options, Command and 2. Just to make sure that we are all on the same track here. And like mentioned before, after you are done, Wondershare's Demo Creator is going to track the recorded screen over to its built-in editing interface, where you can now start editing everything that you would like to do. Cut out unimportant parts, for example, mute some parts of the webinar, etc. Actually, I made a lot of videos regarding that before, so definitely make sure to check out some more of my tutorials here on the Wondershare Demo Creator channel. Just let me talk about three things here in the editing. So, so at first you got your recording which you are going to track down and now let's say you want to cut out an unwanted part. For that you are going to hover your 
um, timeline bar over the part you want to cut out and then you are going to click on the split button. After that you are going to go to the end of the part you want to cut out, click on the snap button yet again, snip button, and then you are going to delete everything that you don't want to have. After that just glue everything together. Sometimes it's also beneficial, for example, if your professor is using a PowerPoint presentation, you want to just take a screen cap of a certain part of a frame. For this, what you're going to do, okay, let's scroll to a part where we want to save a screen capture. You're going to click on the screen capture button right here, and then it's going to save a snapshot in the folder that which is being specified here. You can also click on open local file, and then you're going to be dragged over to the folder where it has been saved to. And last most important part obviously is you need to export your video file in some way. I mean you want to watch the webinar later. For that after you're done editing you're going to click on the export button up here and then you can set everything up. Want to save it local or maybe want to upload it to YouTube for your colleagues to watch later. All of this can be found here in this interface. Play around with the options a tiny little bit. It's a lot of fun to figure the best options out one after another. And this basically concludes today's video. If this video was helpful and to your liking, definitely make sure to subscribe to the Wondershed Demo Creator channel as well as to give this video a little like and to comment down there. A bit of feedback would be appreciated on my part. Other than that, I thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the Wondershed Demo Creator, like I said before, and I bid you farewell. Please stay safe. Ciao!